Hello everyone, this is Zita from Heartstrings Connection and um, today I want to talk about the spiritual gifts and what spiritual gift is and what light language and basically what are energy tools and how to use them and sense them and how important it is on, on an awakening journey. So um, let's begin with understanding uh, spiritual gifts. So spiritual gifts can be whether it is with respect to channeling messages or self-healing, connecting to the life force energy within you and sensing energy. Basically, it's your sensitivity. As your sensitivity and your healing um, goes hand in hand more and more as you heal and let go and you break resistance and getting connected to source you 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 become very sensitive with the energy around you for example you can you start feeling i think the very first thing is start feeling energies in your chakras so from the beginning right like before in your awakening journey when you start for example when you start seeing and hearing or past life regressions or any video related with spiritual gifts and reiki and healing uh, you do not feel it that effectively um, in the beginning, that's because of the resistance which is there within you and the healing that you have to go through, the numerous birth cycles, the healing that has to take place. So as you move more and more um, on this process and you go forward on the journey, your resistance starts breaking and the connection to the store starts increasing and this increases the sensitivity sensing the energies around you and opening you up to a lot of things and that strengthens your connection for example if it is with the crystal or the reiki sessions and um, feeling the bliss the higher heart activation feeding energies within your chakras so it's all about and every twin has the spiritual gifts so uh, talking to twins um, and knowing them and having sessions with many uh, twins, I've seen the sensitivity factor of the twins, for example. Like everyone has spiritual gifts and it's just different for different uh, beings. We all connected to energy and we all have a purpose and that talks about our own spiritual gifts as well. For example, um, if you see Dara's energy, uh, her spiritual gift is her eyes. The way that she catches energy, the way that uh, the colors and it's a visual activation. So she brings out that character within her. And for few, it is uh, the energy, the energy of connecting to Mother Earth. This energy is way more deeper than anything else. And I feel Charu's energy uh, in that way. So we all have our own spiritual gifts. So as we start developing the connection with source and start healing and letting go of the resistance, we get connected. And that connection to source starts increasing. And as you heal, there is more um, spiritual gifts. So everyone are gifted and everyone are um, blessed and since we awaken there's on this path there is more bliss of the spiritual world and the importance of energy uh, tools as well like um, even though like i said like your sensitivity is all based on your sensitivity how sensitive you are to the energies around the more you heal more you get connected um, to the source and the spiritual world and you start sensing things and as well as i've seen this process of when we take anyone to the quantum field so you see how sensitive they are and how much they've healed it also shows in the quantum field as well you start seeing um, more so that's that's how it, but it's a process the more you've healed more you've opened up more you believe in source more you let go more you get connected to your spiritual gifts and that's one importance of spiritual gifts and as well as like energy tools so energy tools and even energy tools around you like for example light language reiki uh, crystals just just the sight of anything around you anything nature and sensing the energies and healing and self-healing all of this can be developed as and when you go through a purge and come out of it and learning how to use that portal is uh, very important and energy tools will help you um, have this connection break this connection and move forward with um, your spiritual gifts so that's
what I'm hearing for spiritual gifts and to let everyone know that every twin has spiritual gifts. Whether or not it is the same, that's different. So there are many cap, uh, categories, isn't it? The many spiritual gifts, for example, light language, Reiki, and you can keep naming, you know, for few it is visual, and few it's in the arms, few it's healing energy, and few it is like, they're just gifted with different things in a different uh, perspective. So irrespective of what the line of spiritual gift is, Everyone has their own uh, strength in spiritual gifts. Everyone does have, every twin have their spiritual gifts is uh, what I'm hearing. So we have to just develop with that. So now coming to understand what light language is. So I've been connected to light language since the beginning of my um, awakening. I was already connecting uh, to light language and um, it just developed from there. So light language started with... Um, just me talking, uh, just speaking in light language and that was the only spiritual gift then, uh, back then I had was only speak but I was not able to channel a word or anything back then and it developed, the spiritual gift starts developing and then I had visions down the line and one important thing to a established connection or like have your spiritual gifts or develop your spiritual gifts or get connected is to be content with what you already have for example when uh, i got connected to um, a light language i was very grateful about that that it's a form of energy tool and it was helping me come out of all the purges that i was going through um, just connect connection and knowing light language was an energy tool i didn't know anything about that in the beginning of my awakening what light language was or what its significance was so getting connected to light language itself was uh, knowing it is a energy tool was an important um, factor which kind of like knowing it itself lifted my energy and I was very grateful so gratitude of where you are at is very important to enhance your spiritual gifts what you already have was very important but at that time I was not able to see visions or anything or channel even yes or no or anything with the pendulum so i started there uh using light language with the strength that i had at that time and knowledge i had and was very grateful that i knew it was an energy tool and i was gifted and that was my gift so it started with there and then um i started seeing visions and felt energies in my was able to channel light language in all of my uh chakras helping everyone else connect to their chakras it was light code activations and then it started with um channeling it was yes or no and then it was the pendulum um uh, it was all magic and spiritual and blissful and then um started yeah channeling and tapping into energies and energy protection and then now uh taking it, it was a process now i'm able to you know uh go to the quantum field and get messages and be connected so i just want to say to everyone that energy tools are important and we all have a spiritual gifts and it's it's important to be um content at this place and be grateful where you're at and build your light language skills so i i feel and the way that i've seen light languages that like everything is light language light language is basically connection to source so it can be your eyes your hands the way you feel and how sensitive you are so light language is just um energy activation codes which help us in our um spirituality in our uh, ascension journey so they have codes which um activate our dna so they help so when you see the visual activation of something is written and you see the visual activation of it and it just absorbs in your energy it gets like every cell understands that and it becomes wisdom it turns into wisdom in your energy and helps you shift from one the place of where you're at to the next level of healing so that's how powerful light language is and um, the codes speak directly to your dna surpasses your mind your thoughts your fears and everything it just surpasses all of it and help you heal that aspect that is um coming up for healing for example um if you hear a solar plexus healing chakra uh, activation light language audio it heals you the way the place where you have to heal 
it's an individual healing is that's that's um the word i'm he- hearing and as well as like that's what it does like it's individual it's very individual if i if if there are two people two individuals uh, who are hearing the same audio it works with them the way that they need healing and the level of healing that they require so light language is uh, very individual and our energy understands it better than our mind and it surpasses our mind and that's that's a beautiful aspect of light language and just like helps you in your individual um healing so over and over when you use the same energy tool uh light language for example the audio when you hear it often and like it just like helps you over and over and and build your um, energy up and as well as this important thing that we have to understand one is our conscious mind and another one is our energy body isn't it so there are many um synchronicities that we see for example if it is a leaf a feather a sign from the universe that we are supported isn't it so that happens because of as and when you start aligning for example if you wake uh, up early in the morning and uh, you got connected to source in a very beautiful way and your day was beautiful and you were gra- grateful and when you align with source and that's when the synchronicity starts happening the involuntary um, magic isn't it so the involuntary moments which is like just so spellbounding and like um it's just it's just amazing you're just like um you feel it and you differently and there was no voluntary action then voluntary magic is what i call the involuntary movement so that is your energy body so more and more you start working on your conscious mind more and more there's a conscious effort to come out of purge and heal which i've talked on my um how to come out of a purge and like the healing that's a portal of healing that's the portal of um, healing is what i'm hearing the, the purge so more and more you use your conscious mind and to remind that everything is energy and um keep pulling yourself out of the purge and keep ascending and keep moving forward everything changes it funds your energy body and your energy body is a place where shows your healing and your connection with source and the involuntary magic starts happening when you start helping your energy body you need to use your conscious mind to help to come out of purge consciously think you know uh with thoughts being grateful and when you have this conscious effort it funds your energy body and that's where the involuntary magic happens movements and you're in the right place at the right time you find right people and you get great opportunities abundance blocks starts lifting and there's more bliss and there's more wholeness and the separation pain starts fading away and you there is more to contribute so this happens when you're consciously making an effort to fund your energy body and that's what uh, energy body is and light language funds directly hits your energy body so light language goes directly to your energy body and helps is to gain wisdom in your energy so that's how powerful and beautiful light languages it goes it bypasses your conscious thoughts it bypasses uh, your fears and your trauma your pain and goes directly and facilitates you on your um, energy body so that it can be turned into involuntary uh, magic which is sings and being in the right place at the right time and healing the traumas that uh, we were not able to heal on our own so that's how beautiful light language is so light language basically is everything everything that you see from the sun the moon uh the water the mountains and like the color especially the colors and the numbers the activation you receive from numbers and art and the beauty anything and everything that you see around yourself is light language the pattern on the butterfly the pattern on um the animals um the way that you the feel the, the touch so everything is basically connection to source and it is different for different beings for few it is the sight they start seeing things differently and for few it is um hearing but anything nice anything around you the way that you see using your spiritual eye is light language codes so when the codes are written um what i do is that i channel like Uh, the light codes for example if it is a mountain like channel the energy through it 
in the form of codes and that helps you in your um, awakening and part of it the strength then that's how it is so anything all the spiritual gifts is light language light language is nothing but connection to source and um, your sensitivities increases your sensitivity brings in more bliss and um, the codes that uh, are emitted the energy that the crystals have is as well light language so everything around us is light language for example even the fire the sensitivity so more and more you get connected to um source your sensitivity increases as i've been uh, talking about it it even a fire has its own uh, light code activation and um which increases your um beauty and just connecting to that energy starts clearing the warmth, the protection. So that's what light language is, and uh, it's a it's a beautiful aspect. And everyone is connected to light language. It's just not uh, one person, one person's spiritual gifts, basically. And that's how the cards are read as well, like getting connected to energy and placing it. So that's light language as well, and. Yeah, the pattern of the leaf, it's just there in everything, the way that you see things, the beauty in everything, the bliss and the peace is light language. Of the, it is the energy of the divine working through us and which um, creates miracles in our lives. For example, I was just like uh, talking to Charu and Daira the other day about um, to even to, um, about the how forward we have come in our energy. For example, when you look back on our own uh, spiritual journey, the things that triggered us, like a year back is not triggering us now and we do not know what we exactly did in order to overcome that isn't it so it's just a conscious effort of knowing in our energy that everything is energy and only good can come out of good so being in that and working that way is caused so much uh, magic beyond our understanding of how, how things got um, started and how we were in the right energy to overcome certain things so that's a uh, light language uh, for everyone who is who wants to know more about light language so light language is source connection to source and everyone is connected to light language so using energy tools is very important is another thing that i wanted to speak about is energy tools are very important it just talks about your sensitivity whether you're sensitive or not but it has the same effect on everyone for example the light language visual codes whether you're sensitive to it at this moment or not it doesn't have an influence and in, on the healing that it is doing to you. For example, the crystal, and it just speaks about how much you have to heal, isn't it? So if it is the crystal, the fire, and the sage, the protection, energy, and everything it speaks about, um, it just bypasses the mind and goes straight into your energy body, and it's just your sensitivity. So whether or not you're, you can sense the energy or not, it's the same effect which has been done to um, everyone. It has... It works directly to your energy body and uh, yeah hope hope this helped everyone of understanding what spiritual gifts and energy tools are thank you